Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. We got one of the more intriguing games for me on the slate tonight as we're taking a look at Purdue going to the Dome and playing Syracuse. Big 10 versus ACC in two teams that, hand up, I might have been just straight up wrong about both teams. Syracuse was a team that I looked at their defense and I was like, okay, this could be a pretty solid defense. I like Garrett Williams at that cornerback spot. I like Mikel Jones. They lose a lot of guys on the defensive line. But in that back seven, I liked a lot of the talent they had. I thought they'd have a solid defense. But on the offensive side of the football, I just wasn't very optimistic about this team. Garrett Schrader was one of the least efficient passers in the ACC last year, returning pretty much no wide receivers that really scared me at all. And pretty much only Sean Tucker, who I love. Sean Tucker is a top five running back in the country. One of the best players with the ball in his hands. Maybe even the best outside of B. John Robinson. I'm a huge fan of Sean Tucker. But outside of that, I didn't like this offense that much. Dino Babers coaching for his job. And all of a sudden, this offense through two weeks has been absolutely clicking. Before we get into it, though, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support. Whether you're Syracuse fans, whether you're Purdue fans, whether you're college football sport gamblers. I do appreciate all the support. I love talking ball with you guys in the comment section. So if you guys do like the content, consider subscribing. We really do appreciate it. Let's start talking some Purdue Syracuse. As I said, Syracuse is a team that really surprised me. I did not see this offense being as dominant as it has been for the first two weeks. Now, Louisville, a pretty solid defense personnel-wise. They haven't looked that great. I didn't think they were that impressive against UCF. And then they roll UConn. But going back to this is what I think is the most important aspect of this game is Garrett Schrader. Can he make it happen against a Big Ten level defense in Purdue? Garrett Schrader has been phenomenal. You look at this guy's stats. He is, what, 38 of 48 for 523 yards and five touchdowns. Extremely efficient, extremely accurate. He's getting the job done with his legs as well. And then Sean Tucker, just being Sean Tucker, he's a dog. We all knew that. The story of this offense is how good Garrett Schrader has been from the pocket throwing to his wide receivers, carved up Louisville. He carved up UConn. This is an offense that I didn't expect to be that explosive outside of Sean Tucker, and they are proving me absolutely wrong. Purdue, on the other hand, was another team that I wasn't that high. Aiden O'Connell, I knew, was a dog. Aiden O'Connell's a six-year guy. He's played a lot of football. He's played a lot of good football last year. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the Big Ten last year. He loses guys like David Bell. I wasn't really confident. He lost like his top three wide receivers. I wasn't that confident that he was going to be able to make it happen with the new wide receivers. In comes in special team as Charlie Jones from Iowa and is looking like an all big 10 receiver. Charlie Jones, the chemistry between Aiden O'Connell and Charlie Jones, who apparently played football at the peewee level. Charlie Jones threw two games, 21 catches, 286 yards, four touchdowns. One of those games being against Penn State where he was working up against uh, Joey Porter Jr., who is one of the best cornerbacks in the country. Charlie Jones, I thought, got the better of him on a lot of reps. He's a great separator over the middle. He's obviously very good with the ball in his hands. This game, I I think it's a true toss-up. And when I'm looking at it from a betting standpoint, I I lean Purdue because I trust Aiden O'Connell a little bit more than Garrett Schrader, even though Garrett Schrader has been shoving down my throat the last two weeks. And I was talking – a lot of smack, not smack, but I was just kind of my, my take on Gary Schrader was he's not that good of a pocket pass. He's more of kind of an athlete running that option offense. He's looked very good, but I do trust Aiden O'Connell. He's played at a high level for a couple of years. He has, they host Penn state week one. Aiden O'Connell looked very good for the most part. My lean is with Purdue going on the road. You get him at even money. That being said, this is a game that I'm probably just sitting out and watching, but I will certainly have this on one of the monitors. I got three monitors. I choose the three most interesting games at the time slate. I think this will make the monitor at the noon o'clock, noon o'clock, at the noon time slate, just because I want to learn about these teams. This Syracuse team could be 3-0 and potentially have an argument as a top 25 team with wins over Purdue and Louisville at the end of the day. Purdue, on the other hand, they're 1-1 one one with a very close loss to Penn State. They're still a contender in the Big Ten West. I want to know whether both these teams are more so Syracuse. Is Syracuse for real? I think the Big Ten West is going to be wide open, even if Purdue does lose this game. I still think they'll be contenders in the Big Ten West. Syracuse, on the other hand, if you're looking for a dark horse to not necessarily win the ACC, but make a run at the ACC, and if DJU at Clemson doesn't figure it out on the offense side of the ball, maybe make a run at the ACC title. It'd be the Syracuse Orange with really impressive routing win against Louisville. Looks solid. 
against UConn. This would be a massive win for Syracuse. One of the better teams in the Big Ten. They're coming to your dome. If they can come out and win this game, I'd be very impressed. What I like more from a betting standpoint, and I don't even know if I'll take this, is the over. Purdue throws the ball a lot. Aiden O'Connell is a very good quarterback. And Syracuse has proven to be one of the most explosive offenses in the country for the, through the first two weeks. Purdue's defense isn't great. That's a defense that Penn State just scored 38 on, I believe. I mean, that's not a great performance with the Sean Clifford-led offense. I think both teams are going to be able to score. I think both teams are going to hit explosive plays. Obviously, that Purdue air raid offense, in a sense, is very hard to stop. Another matchup for more of an NFL draft purpose is Garrett Williams covering Charlie Jones again. I've been extremely... The biggest argument was Charlie Jones is your wide receiver one heading into this year. I wasn't that high on him. He didn't really get to do much at Iowa, which obviously seems very hard to do with how Iowa's offenses look this year. Charlie Jones has looked awesome. Aiden O'Connell has looked very strong. And then Garrett Williams. There hasn't been many cornerbacks playing at the level that Garrett Williams does. I cannot wait for that matchup. I can't wait to see what Sean Tucker can do against a Big Ten defense. There's a lot of storylines at play that I'm not necessarily feeling an edge in this game, but it's certainly going to be a game where you have two teams that I, I kind of misevaluated in the summer, especially Syracuse. As a Rochester guy, I, I grew up going to Syracuse games. I'm very excited to see Syracuse hopefully kind of bring back that football program. Again, Coach Dino Babers is on the hot seat. He's got to win at least six games if he wants to keep his job up there in Syracuse. I think – I don't know if I think he'll make it happen. Through the first two weeks, I'm pretty confident that he's going to be able to get the six games. They're really, really impressive wins. If he can add a third, start the season 3-0, and probably get some top 25 votes. This Syracuse team is dangerous. If Gary Schrader is a guy that can throw the ball, make defenses re- respect the passing game, open up the box for Sean, T- Ch- Sean Tucker to run against, you got to really like what you see from the Syracuse team. Purdue, on the other hand, if they want to kind of be a contender in the Big Ten West, this would be a massive win. Not necessarily from Big Ten standings, but the optics of it. Going on the road, being a 2-0 ACC team in the Syracuse Orange who just routed Louisville the other week. Again, these are two teams that we want to learn a little bit more about. I'll have eyeballs on it. We're definitely going to recap this game. That'll do it. This is a game that you have two two teams that uh, I was a little low on, and both teams have impressed me early in the season. So as we close out again, just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown the channel. I really do appreciate it. Love talking ball with you guys. If you do like the content, consider subscribing. We really do appreciate it, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.